So, okay, so we're going to go on over to our next topic. So, you know, we do we do great numbers when we talk about boxing. Uh, the last topic, the last thing we did, we talked about, you thought of the topic about Mayweather and Haney, and we did some solid numbers. So we're going to bring it back today also. So uh, there is a boxing fight this weekend on July 6th. Shakur Stevenson will be fighting Artem Hari. Hari T. Union. Hopefully, I pronounced his name wrong. Um, he also fought Frank Party Union. Actually, fought Frank Martin. Also, this will be a live event. Um, it's going to be televised on ESPN. It will be taking place in Newark, New Jersey. So Shakur Stevens says he promises a superstar performance on July six. Does Shakur Steven need a superstar performance to convince people, hey, we want to see Tank and Shakur now? Absolutely. He absolutely does because right now people are not clamoring for that fight. Um, I'd like to see it. I think Shakur is a, stand, a, 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 a very good fighter, I, um, but he needs to have better performances. Mm. Um, his last couple performances weren't just jaw-dropping. You know, um, I think people look at him right now. I think people were more ex excited about the Frank Martin fight than they would have been for Shakur Stevenson to be fighting him. So, so if he, so if he does, so if he just, if he wins by unanimous decision, can will that is that going to convince you to say, okay, give me, give me, give me, give me Stevenson a tank now. If he wins by unanimous decision because he's just beating the hell out of this boy for 12 rounds, yes. But if not, he's going to need a knockout. He's going to need a knockout. He's going to need an early knockout at that, under six rounds. Do I think he's going to do that? I don't know much about the other guy, so I don't know. But uh, I, I think that, that he needs a knockout right here. I think Shakur is very confident in himself. Um, I think he wants that big payday more than anything with Tank. And um, and I think it's actually time for him to fight. I think maybe last year Shakur was, um, would have been biting out more than he could chew. But right now I think it will be a good fight for him. So I do think he needs to be very convincing in his fight. Is Shakur Steven an elite fighter to you? Yeah. Yeah, man. He's, so, he's been elite so, fighting me. So when it came to uh, – uh, Tank, he says, um, he said to, um, he says, how many times is he going to say he is going to fight an elite fighter and not fight them? And he said, um, he is 30 years old now, bro is 30, talking about he's going to fight me. He said, next, okay, we'll do it. So, um, I want to see this fight though, but I need to see. That performance, though, man, like he needs to make he needs to convince people like, yo, this was a horrible idea putting Shakur against this guy right now. Yeah, exactly. Um, and Shakur better beat him because Frank Martin beat uh, that dude Harty Union um, in a unanimous decision. So if he even gets as a split decision, oh, no, we could you could forget about this fight. Yeah, so. and and the thing about it is because uh Shakur hadn't been looking good in his last outings. He he had a very slow ass fight last fight when he um um fought Edwin De Los Santos um mm -hmm. to win his little vacant uh WBC title. But um it was it was just a slow fight to watch. It wasn't nothing exciting about it. Uh I believe he apologized to everybody after the fight. Yeah. And um I want to see it. I need to see this. You never want to win a fight and have to apologize. Right. Because of your performance. Yeah. Because, I mean, he clearly won the fight, but you have to apologize because you won in such a boring, drab ass. Like, I, I, I could have, like, it looked it. like a. It looked like a sparring session. It needs any, any, and I need to be like, okay, yo. After what I saw, this guy, this guy can't be Tank Davis, man. Right, <laughs> right. Like I said, I got hyped about Frank Martin. I thought Frank Martin had a chance. So right now, what people are saying, even though I may disagree with it, 
they're saying nobody can't beat Tank Davis right now. Nobody. I don't know, man. It's looking like it. It's looking like it. Well, now, actually, look. actually, I would say I, this this last fight against Martin, I was more impressed with Tank than I have ever been, even wow. though Ron Garcia fight. Now, I, before... I, uh, Tank usually takes a lot of punishment in the first couple, couple of rounds, so I was kind of used to that. But um, the way he just walked him down at the end, like all of that was – he didn't he wasn't bothered by those first what six rounds mm. or whatever. It just showed me that it showed me that Tank Tank was actually just filling them out, figuring them out. He <laughs> wasn't really getting beat like that. So that right there showed me. And I was like, well, you know what? He is a smarter, smarter fighter. He's a boxer. I didn't I didn't consider Tank a real boxer until after this fight. I could I consider mm. him a big puncher. People in boxing should be embarrassed right now. Because we are at the point that saying nobody can't beat Tank Davis. Everybody in that weight class should be ashamed of themselves right now, <laughs> man. Like, come on. Yeah. Shakur Stevenson might be our last hope, man. Yeah. Oh, and before we get out of boxing, man, I normally don't like to give you credit. But obviously, I'm going to have to. You were right about that drug usage when it came to ryan garcia i didn't want to believe it Come but on. obviously <laughs> you said you said it after the first um after the first uh the, the first one came out the first ever yeah. one came out when the first story first broke he was like yo he did it then we came yeah. back we was like no he didn't do it then they kept on going back and forth now it's basically official yeah he's gonna he'll be suspended for a year um and uh yeah um i i actually i actually am i'm upset about him being suspended a year because mm. i would like for him to go ahead and get back in the ring and fight Devin haney again yeah i, I at first i didn't want to see it but now that i know he did get juiced up i like to see it again Whoa. just so we can know for man. sure man man forget that forget that i want to see Devin haney fight again man fight who though Hey man, what about what about Take Davis, man? <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> Hell no, nah, I don't need to play Tank. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, nah, man. Devin don't need to fight Tank, man. He need to leave mm. Tank alone. All leave right. that man alone. Let that man chill out and go uh, turn flips. You you just wait on Devin. Get you another payday with Devin. I mean, uh, not Devin. Um, with um. What's his name? Um, um, steroids. Ryan Garcia. Get you another yeah. paper with Ryan <laughs> Garcia in a year. Um, but I do agree with you. I think Devin needs to fight again. He needs to get another fight. Um, he get that. He got to get that. He got to get that bum off of him. He got a whole bunch of bum on him. Like he looked like a bum right now. He got um, off of him. Okay, so damn, it's hot in here, man. <laughs> 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 All right, let's go to our last.